Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. From the topics that Jam brought out today, so I was able to arrange some questions, okay? You know, Jam repeats questions, but not exactly. In case they choose not to repeat that same question, but they brought something similar to that question, or even from that same topic, you'll be able to understand it. If you're joining us for the first time, please do well to subscribe to this channel, because you have a lot to gain. With no further ado, let's get right into the video. Question 1. An aluminium rod of length 1.8 meters at 10 degrees Celsius is heated to produce a difference in length 0.007 meters. Calculate the temperature at which it is heated and we are given linear expansivity of aluminium to be 2.3 times 0 to the power of minus 5 per Kelvin. We have the following option. So, alright, from this question, what you are looking for is the second temperature, okay? Now, let us take our parameters by saying that what? The L is equal to 1.8 meters, okay? Then theta 1 is what? Is 10 degrees Celsius, okay? Now we have a change in length, that's the difference in length, okay? It can also be said to be increase in length. So that is change in length is given as 0 0.007 meters, right? Okay, now what are we looking for? We're looking for theta 2. That is theta what? This is what you're looking for. And we're giving alpha to be that value on the board. Now what I'm going to do is for me to get the temperature rise first. Once I get the temperature rise, I will now find my theta 2, okay? Now let's go by using our formula alpha is equal to L2 minus L1 all over L1 what? Theta. Is that clear? Now since I am looking for theta, what I'm going to do is to say that this is over what? 1 cross multiply. Okay? By saying that this is what? L1 theta alpha is equal to L2 minus L1, right? So what do we do by what I'm going to do is to divide both sides by L1 alpha. So this is L1 alpha, L1 alpha, right? Now this cancels this, okay? So we are left with what? We are left with theta is equal to L2 minus L1 all over L1 what? alpha. Let's just substitute to see what we have. What's my L2 and L1? That's the difference in the length. And it's given as what? 0 0.007 divided by, right? So what's my L1? My L1 is what? Sorry, this is my L1. My L1 is 1.8, okay? So I have 1.8 multiplied by what? Alpha. Alpha is given as what? 2.3 times 7 to the power of minus what? 5, okay? Now we work it out by saying that what? Theta is equal to, let's work it out so we can get the answer. We have theta is equal to 0 0.007 divided by 4.14 times 10 to the power of what? Minus 5, okay? And by the time we divide, it's going to give you approximately what? 169 degree Celsius. Do we understand? Now, this 169 degree Celsius is just the temperature rise. And for me to get the difference in the temperature, I'm going to say what? Theta is equal to theta 2 minus what? Theta 1, right? So the theta we are causing from this question is what? 1 6 what? 9, right? Then the theta 1, we have theta 2 minus theta 1 is what? 10, okay? Now for me to get this theta 2, I'm going to do what? Cross it over. So therefore, the new temperature is what? 1 6 9 plus what? 10. Do you understand? So by the time you add it, you're going to have what? You have what? 1 7 9 3 Celsius. Is that clear? Now, this is how to solve this type of what problem. Some of you might even end as getting 169. It's as if it's not the final answer. It is not the final answer because the question says that what calculate is that when it is what heated. That means you already had the initial temperature. They wanted you to convert what to get the final temperature. Okay? The correct answer to this question is option D. Question 2. The, the net capacitance in the circuit shown below is what? We have these circuits now. We are going to find the what next capacitance, and we have the following options. So what we are going to do is to solve our problem. Okay, now capacitors when they are connected in parallel, we are going to do what? Add them, right? We are going to add them. Okay. So now for these two, I want to start with these two. I will say that what? C total is equal to what? C one plus C two, right? Now this is C total is equal to that is two plus what? Two, right? is equal to 4 microwatt farad. 
Now, whatever thing I have will not be in series with this one. What do I mean? This is point B. You go this way, you have this, you have this. Okay? Now, this is point B. This is point what? D. Now, from the effect resistance of these two connected in parallel, we have gotten to be 4 microfarad. This is 4 microfarad, right? Okay, then this is another word, 4 microfarad, given the question. 4 microfarad, right? So what you need to do is to solve for our what? That is 1 over C total is equal to what? 1 over C1, 1 over C1, plus 1 over C2. Now, there is another short method that you can use, okay? Aside from this, I mean, you'll be very fast in your work. So this is what? C total is equal to what? C1 times C2 all over what? C1 plus what? C2. They are simple as that, okay? If they are just two, you can use this formula, but when they are more than two, you must use one over one over like this one to get your what? Capacitance. So this is what? Four times four divided by what? Four plus what? Four, okay? Now what do we have? 4 times 4 is what? 16, okay? And 4 plus 4 is what? 8. By the time you divide each order, you are going to have that this as 1, this is what? 2. So the answer is what? 2 micro watt farad. Okay? Do you understand? So the correct option to this question is option D. Question 3. The fourth overtones of a closed pipe is 900 Hz. Its fundamental frequency is what? You have the following options. So what do we do? One thing that will come to our mind is uh, what are overtones, what are harmonics of a closed pipe, okay? Then for a closed pipe, we have the harmonics to be F0, 3F0, 5F0, 7F0, 9F0, now, and so on and so forth, right? Now, this is not the first overtones, but this is first harmonics, but zero overtones. Overtones must be a whole number of multiples of fundamental frequency. Now, this is what? The first overtone. We have the second. We have what? The third. And the question said what? The fourth overtone. That means this is what? Fourth. Okay? Now, the fourth overtone is now giving us 900 Hz. So, that means 9F0 is equal to what? 900 Hz, right? What are we going to do? Let's divide both sides by what? By 9. I'm going to say that therefore, fundamental frequency is equal to 900 over what? 9, right? So by the time we divide, it's going to give us what? This into itself, and this into have what? 1. It's going to give me 100 Hz. Do we understand? And this is how to solve this type of problem. And the correct option from what you have gotten is option what? B. Question 4. Which of the following is a derived unit? A. Half kilogram. D. We have meter. C. Kelvin. And D. Newton. It's only Newton that is different from this option. The rest are what? Fundamental units apart from what? Newton. That is why Newton will be the correct word answer, which is option D. Question 5. The energy stored in a capacitor of capacitance, 5 microfarad, is 40 joules. Calculate the voltage applied across its terminals. And we have the following options. Now, what are we going to do? We must remember that the formula for energy stored in a capacitor, okay? And that formula, what? Is E is equal to half CV square, right? Now, since we have the energy, we have the capacitors of a capacitor, what are we looking for? We're looking for what? The PD. We are going to make it the subject by saying this is over 1 cross multiply 2E is equal to what? CV square, right? You divide by what? By C. So therefore, V square is going to give me what? Root of, that is V is going to give me what? Root of 2E over what? C. You will get it. So let's see what we have. So let's go. So what is my E? This is 2 times what? My energy is given as 40. We say 40 divided by. My capacitance is 5 times 7 to the power of what? Minus 6, okay? Now, let's go. What do we have? If 5 divided is F1, divided is we have what? 8, okay? Now, 8 times 2 is what? 16. So we have what? 
v is equal to root of what 16 right now i'm carrying this minus 6 to the numerator we're going to change to plus okay now i'll now say times times to the power of what so let's go you can see that what that root of 16 is, 16 is a perfect square okay you're going to have what 4 right then times you're simply going to divide this one by 2 okay if i'm doing root so this is what 10 is power what 3 votes you understand so if you bring it out you're going to have what this is 400 what votes this is how to solve this type of problem do you understand okay so from what you've got so far the correct option is option what a Question 6. As in an elastic collision, momentum is conserved as well as what? A. Velocity. B. Kinetic energy. C. Potential energy. And D. Speed. So the correct option to this question is option B, which is what? Kinetic what? Energy. In elastic collision, momentum and kinetic energy are always what? Conserved. So that is the answer. B. Question 7. The ratio of the mass of water vapor present in the air to the mass of water vapor necessary to saturate the same volume of air at temperature. Option A, density. Option B, relative density. Option C, relative humidity. Option D, humidity. The correct option in this question is what? C, which is relative humidity. All that is clear. Question 8. The tone ratio of a transformer which supplies a voltage of 300 volts in the secondary coil from a primary voltage of 600 volts, right? So what we are going to do is write our formula, okay? We have what we call tons ratio. Now, what you are looking for is the tons ratio, which is what? Nx over what? Np, right? Then this is equal to what? Ex over what? Ep. And only when you have current, I can interchange, okay? Now, what's my Es? My Es is what? 300 then my ep is what 600 okay now we'll cancel out we have one over what two which is same thing as what 0 0.5 what? right this is the term ratio of what that particular question in case you see something similar to it and from what we've done the correct answer is option what a question nine the equation p power a p power p and this is the Charles law. If we are going to use this formula now to solve for Charles law, right? Now, knowing that Charles law, that the P, that V over T at constant what pressure? Okay. Now, simply what you have is I'm going to equate this to the equation given to us. Okay. By saying that this V is raised power of one because it's already numerator. Okay. Then this one. We have what t power what minus one and from what we have we can say that this is what p a v b and what t c right now the only thing that is remaining for us to do in this particular one is to add what pressure it's either you work it straight or you work it individually anyhow you choose by saying that p power zero is equal to p power what a right okay now this cancels each other therefore a is equal to what? Zero. Okay. Now for the second one, we have what? P power one is equal to V power what? B. You cancel to be what? B is equal to what? One. And the last one, we have that what? T power minus one is equal to T power what? C, right? Cancel. Therefore, C is equal to minus what? One. So the option is what? We have A is equal to zero. B is equal to 1, and C is equal to minus 1. So, we don't have that question that we have on the board. That means you are wrong. The correct option from what we've gone so far is option what? D. Question 10. Calculate the velocity ratio of a screw jack of pitch 0 0.3 centimeters if the length of the tummy bar is 21 centimeters. And we have the following options. Now, how do we get the velocity ratio? Knowing that the velocity ratio of a screw jack is equal to what? 2 pi r over what? Pitch. Okay? Now, both the r and the pitch, they are still in centimeters. So you don't need to convert, okay? Just going to work it straight. By saying that what? This is 2 pi times, what is my r? My r is what? 21. 
then my pitch is what? 0 0.3. What, okay? Now look at what we have. We are going to be getting what? 42 pi over what? 0 0.3. So it seems that we're going to give the answer in terms of pi because from the options provided, we did not change pi. So if you see a question like this, you're not supposed to remove pi, just leave pi as pi, okay? All right, so if we divide this, if 3 divide this, we're going to have 0 0.1. If 3 divide this, we're going to have what? 14. By right, the time you carry it up, it's going to have what? 140 what? Pi. Remember, velocity ratio has no SI what? Unit. And from what we've got so far, the correct option in what we have is what? Option D. If this video was able to help someone out there, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to get notified each time I post videos. And lastly, do not forget to share so that other students that are preparing for this same forthcoming exam can see it and learn from there. I'll see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.